Hey, how are you doing AP Cal students? It's Mr. Clifford. A quick overview of macroeconomics unit three, aggregate demand and aggregate supply. You're going to start off with something called aggregate demand. Demand for everything by everyone. And it's just the same as GDP. It's what people are spending, right? When I say people, I mean the four components of GDP. C plus I plus G plus XN. Make sure you know it. Next thing you talk about is aggregate supply. It's the production of different things in the relationship between price level and output. But there's a short run and a long run. So this gets tricky. Make sure you pay attention that there's a short run curve and there's a long run curve that's vertical, a long run aggregate supply curve. And it's time to start shifting this puppy. So make sure you understand why it shifts to the right or shifts to the left and when it shifts and what happens to price level and what happens to output. From there, you're gonna take that and you're gonna take it to another graph that's almost the same. It's the same basic concept called the Phillips curve. The Phillips curve shows you the inverse relationship between inflation and unemployment. Now, from there, you're gonna talk about something called fiscal policy. Fiscal policy is as simple as two things, and that's it. Spending and taxes. That's it. That's all. If we have a recession, what does the government do to get out of it, and how does that affect the graph? You're also gonna learn something called the spending multiplier. If the government spends $10 billion, it doesn't just end up being $10 billion spent in the economy, it gets multiplied. And so you'll learn about something called the marginal propensity to consume and the marginal propensity to save. And that'll help you learn how to close recessionary gaps and close inflationary gaps. If you don't understand a word, don't worry. You're going to get all these concepts. All right, good luck on this one. Until next time. Bonus round for you AP economic students. Listen, the first AP exam free response every year has to do with aggregate demand and aggregate supply. They'll have you draw aggregate demand, aggregate supply, and then you put it in the long run, whether it's a recessionary gap or an inflationary gap, and you have to actually draw that graph. You have to change that graph. Sometimes the multiplier, sometimes it talks about crowding out, sometimes it talks about fiscal policy, some later times talk about monetary policy, which you haven't learned yet. But the point is, you have to know this graph. It's by far the most important graph in AP macroeconomics. Good luck.